there. Let's go check it out. No, it's just so that you can learn. You open up. So, see, this is where they help them. Doesn't look like they have any turtles to, right now. But this is the doctor. See? So if they find any turtles that need help, this is the turtle hospital. Oh, yeah. See? So some of the nets for fishing get stuck on their necks. And that's one of the things that they help take out here. And then when when propellers hit the um, shell. <gasps> Look, they just brought one in. Look. Yes. Right now on the table, we have tailgate. Tailgate is one of our diamondback hair pits that was brought in after being hit by a car. So she has a little section missing on the very back of her shell, thus the name tailgate. Um, if you guys can't see, you might get a better view on this heated on the right. That is a live stream that kind of shows you from above. And now what they're doing this morning is something called cold laser therapy. Right As you guys drove out onto the island, though, you would have probably seen all those bright yellow terrapin crossing signs. So that is just where all of our terrapins are coming from, our, our causeway. So. As you drive up and down that causeway, always be on the lookout for these tiny turtles. Ready to see some of the turtles in the hospital? Of that top shelf. So just like how we have our spine going down the middle of our back. And then connected to the turtle's spine, just like us female human, are the turtle's ribs. So a turtle's top shell is basically its back. It's just shaped differently and offers them a lot of really good protection. Now, when Bandit was hit by this boat propeller, it hit her on the top shell and it hurt part of her spine. And our spine is how our brains can talk to the rest of our bodies. That's how I can move and walk and talk all at the same time. But for Bandit, because her spine got hurt, her brain doesn't send messages to the back half of her body like it's supposed to. So when I mentioned that her back flippers aren't moving around, that's because she's paralyzed back there. Uh, yeah, he can't move his back legs. That guy. That guy got hit by a boat. Yep, he got hit by a boat. Yeah, so he can't move his back legs. And he's like, oh, let me up. No. Okay, I'm just going to climb. Look how He's just trying to learn how to swim. He's going in. He's trying to swim. Isn't he so cute? That one's like laying down and taking a nap. He's like, he got to move. That turtle's trying, trying so to hard. go in the water on the ice. Let's jump in. Look, they have the skulls. Yeah, they're real skulls. You can, absolutely. You can touch them. Do you want to know what these are? Yeah, so these are the, 
what the skulls of the five different species of sea turtle are. So here in Georgia, we get to see five different types of sea turtles. And they all look a little different, both in the size of their body, but in how their skulls look as well. So we have it going from the smallest species of sea turtle to the largest species of sea turtle. So you can see just how different their skulls look. And every type of sea turtle likes to eat their own different type of food. They kind of have a diet that they call their own. Do you guys want to take a guess at what you think the biggest likes to eat? Loggerhead. Loggerhead? That's this one here. So do you know what a loggerhead likes to eat? What's their favorite food? No. Seagrass. That's going to be the green sea turtle here. They're those herbivores. The seagrasses and the lettuce like you might have seen out in the hospital. <laughs> but these guys, the loggerhead, like what little diggity is, their favorite foods are crabs or snails. They like really hard shelled things. So they have a big skull as an adult to have the jaw power to bite through. And the largest species of sea turtle, the leatherback. You want to know what their favorite type of food is? It's called it's jellyfish. They like those really, really soft materials. So when we open up their mouth, you kind of see how it looks like they have like vampire fangs or a W shape on their mouth. That's just a special shape to hold on to really, really slippery materials like those big jellyfish. And so even though they're our largest species, they love those jellyfish, which in my opinion, don't have too many calories to it. So they do eat a lot of jellyfish while they're out there in the wild. Any questions? What's the name of this species? Yeah, so this is the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Okay. So this is the smallest species in the world. So these guys are what we call generalist carnivores, meaning they'll pretty much eat any type of seafood they can get. Um, but their favorite food here off the Georgia coast is our shrimp. So, so a lot of times we get the Kemp's Ridley's here in our care because they get caught on fish hooks. And that's because a lot of fishermen around here like to use shrimp as a bait. But since that's their favorite food, kind of an unfortunate situation, but usually it's a pretty quick process of getting them in the hospital, taking that hook out of their mouth, and then we can release them back out to the wild. Any other questions about these guys? Yeah, so this one here, this is the hawksbill sea turtle. And um, so they're the ones with that really pretty patterned shell. That they're known for is that tortoise shell pattern to them. Um, and they have a really special diet. They only eat really sponges out in the wild. So when we look at their mouth, you'll notice they get their name they eat sponges because it kind of looks like a bird. It's really long, it's really sharp. And that's so that they can get into the crevices where those sponges like to grow. Um, so that's why they have that shape of feet. And then we have the green sea turtle. There are plant eating species, so that's why they have kind of these little tooth like structures that helps them bite through those sea grasses, which are kind of thick and rubbery. These guys, they really like to go up through those really, really big jellyfish, which are sometimes two or three feet big. Can you imagine a jellyfish that big? It's almost as big as you. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Say hi! You can't get a sea turtle as a pet. Oh, that's that's how they lay their eggs. Why? <laughs> they have a hundred and ninety nests right now. This year. The had sea turtle made these tracks. Ooh. That's why they're. Turtle Patrol. Okay, so if you see this on the beach, it was not a turtle. It was Turtle Patrol. But if you see these, it's the loggerhead. Look how cute they look. They're all so tiny. Trying to make it out. Oh, yeah, that's what we saw at the Yeah. And this is what, you saw the nest that we saw? Under it, this is what there is. A giant hole full of all their eggs. It is a nesting area for loggerhead turtles. Ooh, how cool. Yep. So they hatch their eggs right here. And at some point the eggs are going to hatch and they're oh, nice. going to make their way to the ocean that's a pretty far far away actually yeah so hopefully 
we some of them make it. Um, we're going on a morning walk to find some treasure and some cool stuff. All right, let's go see what we find. Go. If you like this video, give us a huge thumbs up.